Welcome to this Tutor to You Sociology topic video looking at social class and crime, focusing on white collar crime. The term white collar crime is attributed to Sutherland who coined the term in reaction to assumptions that crime was a working class phenomenon. While most of the focus of crime by theorists had been on working class crime, Sutherland argued that there existed opportunities for white collar workers, in other words those in managerial and non-manual occupations, to commit crime through their employment. Sutherland suggested there were two forms of white collar crime. Corporate crime, which we'll examine in a separate video, which is crime that is committed by individuals on behalf of the companies they're working for, and occupational crime. And this was usually crime committed against the company or its customers for the individual gain of the employee. These occupational crimes usually focused on utilitarian gain, and one form of white collar crime is embezzlement, and this is withdrawing the resources of the company for an individual's personal gain. A second is insider trading, and this involves the passing on of information that will benefit an individual financially, without that knowledge being in the public domain, therefore giving them an unfair advantage in things like investments and stocks and shares. This is a common form of crime, utilizing contacts and information but it's very difficult to prove and so therefore has lower rates of conviction. Tax evasion is another form of white collar crime. And like with companies, individuals may look to utilize methods of falsely declaring revenue and resources gained through their employment for the purposes of avoiding paying tax on those gains. And finally, bribery, attempting to or receiving payments in return for contracts or information on a company that will result in the financial gain of one or both parties. Let's look at some examples of white collar crimes that have been committed. One of the most famous examples of embezzlement was the Bernie Madoff scandal. Madoff, a city trader, offered clients an investment opportunity that would reward them with quick and high profits. However, he utilized what is commonly referred to as a Ponzi scheme to do this. This involves attracting investors, say of 10,000 pounds, with the promise of a return on their investment, for example, £15,000. The early investors are paid off as further investors are recruited, and word spreads of this opportunity and so more and more investors are recruited and more and more money is given into the scheme. However, the later investors are rarely paid off, and this was the case with Madoff's scheme, with Madoff having embezzled an estimated $50 billion from the investment company he set up to do this leaving many people owed substantial sums of money. Madoff was jailed for 150 years in 2008 and ordered to repay all of his victims. Martha Stewart, the US TV personality, was famously jailed for insider trading in 2001, another example of white collar crime. Stewart was given insider information that a pharmaceutical company that she held shares in would not have its latest cancer drug approved by the American Pharmaceutical Association and so she sold her shares in the company prior to this news being released to the public. Once the news was released, the share price of the company collapsed from $50 a share to $10 a share, but not before Stewart and others had profited to the tune of a quarter of a million dollars, while many other investors lost significant sums of money. Tax evasion scandals often become major headline news in contemporary society due to the nature of those involved. In 2016, almost 11.5 million documents detailing financial transactions from Western banks to investments in Panama were leaked to the press, highlighting around a quarter of a million clients who were evading tax by being paid into Panamanian bank accounts. These accounts, which were outside the jurisdiction of many Western tax agencies, hid revenues that these individuals should have paid tax on, the, on in their country of residence. The scandal highlighted the widespread nature of tax evasion amongst the rich, and as the investment company Mossack Fonseca was only the fourth biggest investment firm in Panama, many more accounts remained secret. Including those implicated in having overseas revenue were footballer Lionel Messi, Simon Cowell, and the father of then British Prime Minister David Cameron. A final form of white collar crime is expense fraud and in the UK the MPs expenses scandal broke in 2009 with a freedom of information request into what MPs claimed expenses for. What journalists found was widespread abuse of the parliamentary expenses system that saw MPs claiming for second properties that they didn't live in, 
paying their partners' salaries to be part of their staff, and more ridiculous claims such as duck houses, toilet seats and the cleaning of a moat around one MP's country house. Whilst most MPs were ordered to repay expenses, including leaders of all three major political parties, eight MPs were charged with making false claims of between £8,000 and £53,000, seven of whom were given prison sentences ranging between six and 18 months. The eighth was deemed too ill to stand trial. That concludes this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on social class and crime, looking at white collar crime. Thanks for watching.